Welcome to the American Bar. Uh, my name is Joe Lewis White, one of the bartenders here, um, and I'll be making a classic drink that represents the bar. Um, it has a lovely story behind it. It's actually a drink that's from our Savoy cocktail book, um, a great reference point for cocktails. Um, but it was actually introduced to us by a guest. It was a drink that we didn't really know. It was an unusual flavour combination that we thought might be a bit challenging, but when we tried it, it was, uh, it was something that really blew us away. It's called the chrysanthemum, and uh, traditionally is a mix of equal parts of Benedictine and dry vermouth. Uh, with the addition of a few dashes of absinthe. But to kind of bring that recipe to modern palates a bit more, um, I found it works really well to add a bit of gin, reduce the modifiers of the vermouth and the liqueur, and then kind of uh, give it a, a bit more of a monstrous with a nice twist of lemon and orange as well. Um, it's a really elegant drink, and uh, that's what's great about the bar. We have a great following of guests that really know their history and their small cocktails, and to be introduced to perhaps a new flavour combination or profile is something that we really like. So as a stirred down drink, to we'll start off, with some block ice, just to help us manage the texture of the drink and the dilution as well. It keeps it nice and cold without uh, over diluting. We would rinse the ice first, just to get, make sure there are no chips of ice that we, we don't want on the edge, as that would over dilute the drink. Start with the bitters. Just a few dashes of absinthe. Then the dry vermouth. We use 20 milliliters of dry vermouth. Benedictine adds a lovely sweetness, texture to the drink, and some herbal complexity as well. Just 15 milliliters. And this drink works really nicely with a botanical heavy gin, an old top, uh, just like Jensen's. Lots of botanicals coming to the floor, lots of complexity to stand up to the uh, intense flavour of the vanilla tea. Stirred down, not too much. The flavours are quite light. Um, over dilution will kind of lose the, the lightness of the dry vermouth. Um, it needs to stand up nicely to the sweetness of the Benedictine. The absinthe helps uh, helps cut through uh, the sweetness of that Benedictine as well and works really nicely with the gin. The chrysanthemum was actually a flower that first appeared uh, in New Jersey to boost tourism in uh, the Vulcan, in a garden that was there. So I think it was very much on kind of American minds uh, at that time, which is why it was a drink kind of brought over to, to London when Prohibition happened. And this is in the early 1900s. The drink is served quite classically up. You get a really nice soft colour from the Benedictine. You see the gin and vermouth keeps it nice and clear. And to finish the drink off, Orange peel to bring out the kind of more complex sweeter notes coming from the vanilla tea and to cut through the sweetness of the drink itself and to lift the absinthe to the floor of the drink some level. Leave those thrown away. It's a really nice, simple, elegant colour. We don't want to interact too much with that experience for the guest. But this is a drink I think sums up the American bar really nicely. Enjoy the croissant.